Hi, I'm Dr. Henry Black, President of the American Society of Hypertension and a clinical professor of internal medicine at the New York University School of Medicine. In late October 2008, there was a little noted news item which said that the European Medicines Agency, the European equivalent of our Food and Drug Administration, has withdrawn its approval for the weight loss or cardiovascular prevention drug, Ramonabond. Ramonabond is a very interesting chemical entity, which is an endo endocannabinoid receptor blocker. This story is really quite interesting. Back in the 1960s, early 1960s, the endocannabinoid system was described. Uh, so somebody got the idea that maybe blocking that system, blocking that hunger, would be an effective way to keep your weight down, either to make you lose weight or to eat less. It took a very short period of time to understand the system, understand the receptors, and then to develop chemical entities that block that system. It's a really remarkable story of, of taking basic science and you know, bringing it into clinical medicine. The first of these agents that was developed for this uh, indication was called a complia in Europe and was approved by the EMA in about 2006 or 2007. Our Food and Drug Administration, to its credit, was withholding its approval because there was a concern that not only would you not lose weight, but people who had histories of depression uh, might be thrown over into a, to being put, in, put themselves at risk of, of suicide. Well, Sanofi Aventis, the company that had, had developed and was marketing this agent, did not study people with a history of psychiatric illness or depression before they applied for approval. That was probably a mistake, and I think the FDA is to be credited for appreciating that, that we needed more data to see if that was a problem. The EMA did approve it, and the drug's been on the market in Europe for a year, a year and a half by now, and I've, I've sort of said if there was any real problem with this that was more than just theoretical, we would know. Well, it turns out we do know. And they've, they've suggested now that the risk for this agent is, outweighs the benefit. Now, this is a very effective drug. You lose 5 to 10 percent of your body weight and maintain it if you stay on the drug. So it, in fact, becomes lifelong therapy, uh, much as antihypertensives are, much as, as lipid-lowering agents are. If you stop the drug, your weight goes right back to where it was before. Uh, it may take a year to get there, but it, it does return even though you've been trained how to, how to eat and careful about it. So this is a very basic biological phenomenon that this particular system is, is looking at. But uh, what's happening and what still may allow this drug to be restored is it's now being studied for very high-risk patients, diabetics in particular, who are at great risk of being overweight uh, because Ramonabon reduces visceral obesity, helps metabolic syndrome, fixes a lot of problems that we see, making it something with great promise. But the outliers, the ones with psychiatric issues who get worse, are something right now in the current uh, era we're not going to allow to happen. So s stay tuned for a monobond, but I think we have to be very careful about agents like this, which even if they have small risks uh, for the general population, if they have big risks for individuals, it's very likely never to make it to market. Thank you very much.